Weather now with Jenny Woodward, who's at Parliament House. Thanks, Matt. Hello, everyone. Well, this weekend, Parliament House is celebrating 150 years and we're all invited to the party. They're opening the doors and having a big open day on Saturday. Now, I've come to have a sneak peek. This is the reading room here. It really smells of history. You can smell the leather volumes and it has this wonderful ladder that takes you up there so you can get those volumes off the high shelves. But I feel really privileged tonight as I am going to be able to handle the ceremonial mace. Now the mace is really a symbol of the crown in the parliament and it's walked into the parliament by the sergeant at arms, Michael Watkin. Thank you, Michael. That's excellent. And it announces that the speaker has moved into the chamber. Now, it's then placed on a table with the head of the mace pointing towards the government. There's a lot of symbolism in the mace and lots of jewels from the gem fields. We've got garnets and opals, sapphires and my favourite, uh, the amethyst. It's a beautiful piece of work and really bears close inspection. But it's quite heavy because it's about eight kilos. So I'm going to pass it back to you, Michael. Thank you very much. And we'll get on to the weather details. And we've had a lot of cloud across the state today. It's been moving towards the east but a lot of dry air underneath so no rain reported. There's been a big variation in the temperatures overnight. It got to 13 this morning in Springshaw but then the lowest in the state was zero not far away at uh, Injun and Tambo. Kawanyama had its hottest August night on record with 25. That's nine above average and cold gusty west southwesterlies made it feel much colder. Toowoomba had a top of 16 but only six was the apparent temperature for the day. Very mild in the city uh, overnight, 15 degrees, and then a top of 22 to 23 this afternoon. On the satellite, you can see that cloud tracking east. It should clear the coast tonight, and there are some frontal systems across the southern coastlines. So more wet weather on the way, with showers expected, and a little bit of rain will be easing in Hobart. Sydney mostly fine. Let's look at the chart, and that high will be over us tomorrow, with clear skies and light winds, just the chance of a light shower on the north coast temperatures will drop overnight and extend well north. Let's have a look at those forecasts and a little cloud about the Northern Cape but mostly sunny elsewhere. Chilly overnight down to three in Mount Isa in the morning. Sunny skies inland after a cold night with morning frost. Temperature down to zero and below in many places. And the same story for the southeast, a frosty start. Minus four on the granite belt and cold across to the coast. Three expected in Gympie. Now for Brisbane tomorrow, some morning frost in the west and a sunny day, 7 to 23 for the city, 1 in Ipswich in the morning. And on the bay, west south westerlies at first, but variable by late morning. We've got another cold morning on Thursday, but then warming up ahead of the weekend. Daytime temperatures to 26 degrees. And if you want to know more about the Parliament House Open Day, make sure you're listening to Craig and Beck in the morning. They'll have lots of details. Back to you, Matt.